Mom, we both got the same letter with the same uh, seal, the same king's seal on it. The king's called us to his jury. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. But usually only one family goes. It's the, the both of us? I think it's the both of us. That doesn't mean we're from different families, does it? Oh gosh, I hope not. All I've wanted to do my whole life is be related to you. Me too. The second I birthed you, I said, oh, I hope she's mine. Oh. Well. I'm sure you are. I'm sure we are. Maybe there's another reason why they called both of us to the jury duty. Open it up. Okay. What's the crime? Let me use my, my butter knife opener. Oh, of course. Okay. The crime is a stolen baby. What? <laughs> Yeah. I'm missing a baby and you're missing a sister. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait. And this happened right underneath our very noses. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> How can we be impartial <laughs> jurors when it's our family? Wait a second. This seems, this seems rigged, but I like it. It's rigged in our favor. It's rigged in our favor. If we convict them, they'll have to give me my baby back. <laughs> you'll get your sister back and we'll finally be able to prove if you're mine because you'll both look like each other and how did you know that my sister was missing again I checked the crib what were the signs what were the signs empty crib empty, empty table <laughs> empty crib empty table empty womb empty chair empty uterus Empty if you're bed. Able. <laughs> all those things were empty. What I checked all the things the a baby could be. I looked everywhere. What I asked your father. He's hopeless. And also, there was a ransom note that said, Acquit me at the trial, or your baby will be mine. But the baby's been missing for 10 years. Yes. <laughs> I didn't bring it up till now. I have ADD. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah, I have ADD too. It's genetic. It's genetic. ADD is genetic. Remember, empty sheets. Empty sheets. Empty, empty peanut butter jar pool, where she stuck her finger. Empty, empty hallways where machines, she would linger. Empty school. Empty gum packs. Snacks. Empty promises unfulfilled. <laughs> I can't find my kid. She swore to me she'd do a blood oath, and she broke that. I'll fist her both. You made a blood oath with a baby. Maybe you should not be in the jury. <laughs> no, I said she swore to me <laughs> that she would make a blood yeah, oath. She was always a talking and baby. She would again. <laughs> Empty minds, ADD, what were the hard to signs? find, empty womb, empty table, we're gonna what convict him if we're signs? able. Alright, we'll do it. Go to the king, be in the jury, get the, the baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> empty courtroom, empty law. This will be the most rigged jury you ever saw. Empty noose, not for long. The <laughs> criminal will be in the throng. There <laughs> were was signs. signs. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Musical Monday, Musical Monday. Oh man, look at that booty. <laughs> You know your mom's at jury duty. <laughs> Musical Monday! Hello, and welcome back to Musical Monday with Caleb, Zach, and Shay at Improv Broadway. This is Shay, I'm Zach, that's Caleb. We're at Improv Broadway, and this is the show where we review musicals that have ne'er been reviewed before. Ne'er. And today's is a good one. It's your mom's jury duty. The musical. My mom's jury duty. My mom's jury, specifically. It's important to be specific in yes. person. Yes, my mom's. Yes. yes. I yes. wish that I had Stacy's mom. <laughs> Just had her? <laughs> had her. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Never had a mom like that. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so you just heard the opening song of... So there's lots of questions to be answered. Why did the baby get kidnapped? 
why did it take so long? To talk about it all. Why right. are we talking about? Why yeah. did we only bring it up yeah. now? Yeah, we solved ADD. Yeah. Why does <laughs> the king need a jury? <laughs> why is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And why isn't she on Adderall? And all of these questions are answered in this musical. Every all of single them are. One. Why did the older sister make a covenant? To make a blood oath, why not just make the blood oath? Well, well the baby was a talking baby. Yeah, <laughs> and it was over the phone. You can't make a blood oath over the phone, but you can make a covenant <laughs> over the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. And then she never saw her again. Yes. And remember, it's been 10 years, so the baby's 10 now. Yeah. yeah. Ten, <laughs> they made, 10 and 7 months. The talking baby promised <laughs> yes. to make a blood oath at zero years old. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's like Dune 2, if you've seen it. Yeah. Talking baby. Talking baby. <laughs> yeah. Sorry from, to spoil. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so they get there to the king's jury, mm-hmm. and normally, during uh, a law proceeding, um, when, once it begins, you have what's called an opening statement. Yes. The prosecutor gets to go, the defense gets to go, but in the king's jury, they both get to go at the same time, and they get to kind of step on each other's toes and try to one-up each other of why the defendant is either guilty or the defendant is guilty. Right, yeah. and the defendant is none other than... The king. The king. Ooh, <laughs> that's why he can't judge himself. He needs yes. a jury to judge jury. himself. Brought to justice for kidnapping yeah. a baby. They never have years. juries except for when the king might have done a crime, and that happens honestly pretty often in this kingdom. Yeah. Yes. He's kind of a scoundrel. Yeah, yeah he's, he's scoundrel. always criming it up. But yes. he wants to be just, so he says, fine, I won't decide. Yeah. I'll let someone else decide. And who does he have yeah. on the stand banging a gavel? A fresh 10-year-old. <laughs> who can talk? Who can he talk can still? Talk. Yeah. It's very cute to think of a king who is constantly committing crimes, but be like, I'll hold myself accountable <laughs> yeah. by the people who I have committed the crimes against. Right, but so because he's, he's the king, it's always been a 0-10 in his favor verdict every time, or well, 9, however many people are in a jury. Right, but even when he wins, he puts himself in the jail cell for a little bit. For an hour. <laughs> he yeah. puts himself in time yeah. out. He says, okay, I won, but to be fair. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Until yeah. next Week. Wrap my knucks. Wrap my knucks with a ruler. Wrap my knucks. <laughs> Wrap my knucks. And so, yeah. So, who's the 10 year old sister? We don't know. But there's we a fresh 10 year old on the stand. Well, let's remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out. That will okay. be the review because that's the thing. That's what he's on trial for. Did yeah. he kidnap this person, or is this other ten-year-old just another baby that he well, he obtained also, by some means? There's an option that he did kidnap, and this is just another ten-year-old. Sure. Yes. Right? Oh, I right. see. Right. So, right. so it adds an air of mystery. Honestly, the first time I watched it, I didn't think that that ten-year-old would have been the person who's kidnapped <laughs> or not kidnapped obvious. at all. I didn't even yeah, think about it. I didn't right. think about. Okay, so yeah, she's not bringing stuff up. Right. Because here's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> the defense attorney and the per- the prosecutor are both 10-year-olds. Okay. So it so... adds even more complexity <laughs> to the situation. <laughs> okay, so two 10-year-olds to fight... To, to f- what? <laughs> F- fighting over whether the king is guilty or not. Of kidnapping. Yes. Of kidnapping. But yeah. someone kidnapped it. I we mean, know that. I mean, the... There was Typically, a phone call, a covenant was made... Baby never seen again. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Typically, so, in a wait. jury says, "Hey, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. Here's why I think he's guilty." Yeah. And then another person takes the turn. Here's why I think yeah, they're not right, guilty. Right. 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 But there's not a ten year old, but they are fourteen and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and how old are all the jury members? You guessed it. They're all ten too. Well, except, well, well, except, except for, for the, the mom. mom. And except for the mom and the daughter. Yeah. So there's <laughs> six ten year olds. Orphans. <laughs> and then there's the mom and the daughter. Right. Daughters. I don't know. And then two 50-year-olds, because I said they were 10. Okay. Yes. Well, sure. okay, so let's hear, <laughs> <laughs> let's hear that song. Let's hear this yeah. song called Opening Statements. Yeah. Okay. So this is the defense attorney and the other one that's called something. Remember, they're constantly interrupting each other. Remember. Almost, Remember. almost a game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, may I remind you my defendant is Folks and figures of the jury, goblins and ghouls, may I remind you that the king is the best. The king, although he is great, is not above the law. He can't just snap Jenny or little old baby that he ever saw. The king is the nation. 
been steady That's why he can valet Any little kid that he sees Into his kingdom as he pleases Do you want a king to go into your crib And sneak into your little crib And grab oh, one of your kids That simply won't do I would like the king to adopt me I assume everyone would agree Whether you were one or ninety-nine I think you would find the king Agreed. Just ponder these opening statements Just ponder these opening statements And please look into your conscience And ask yourself, it is conscionable to do this thing that he did Do you think that it's right? I don't think so We hold these truths to be self-evident That the king is not created equal That's right, he created the prequel of humankind Listen Kings are appointed by God But don't you think it's just a little odd uh, That he'll run it all around the town He'll go and bring anything he wants on the ground He gave birth to 29 kids And there's no way that that 10 year old is Someone he didn't give birth to He spreads a sperm like Genghis Khan Well think about the mother Think about the sister in any family Who's missing that little tyke since they leave Opening statements Oh yeah Ponder Under these, these opening, opening statements. statements And if any of you are on the fence I like to claim that the ten-year-old is in the courtroom today If you say the king is guilty He could send you all to the galley Is that what it's called? Sure, sure. Consider these opening statements Consider these opening statements Consider these opening statements And may God have mercy on your souls If you go wrong, you'll go in the hole God's hole, that is Opening statements <laughs> Um... Yeah, so they do that opening statements, and then the jury goes to deliberate. So here's how they work. It's only delivering statement, uh, it's opening statements, and then straight to deliberation. Yeah, it's opening, deliberation, closing statements. Closing statements. <laughs> After the decision's been made. <laughs> After this, they just mostly talk yeah, well, about they themselves. Get, yeah, they get to tell how they feel about what happened, you know? But here's, here's the thing. They go to deliberate, and the mother and daughter, who were once united, are now split. Mm-hmm. On who is guilty. Yeah. One of them says, I, the other guy made a lot of good points. Right. Yeah. And then the mom says, I wish you were stolen. <laughs> She's like, I disagree with that so much. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my other daughter. Yes. Yeah. Right. Which is kind of like, we've all had that moment. <laughs> it's so yeah. relatable of a musical. Yeah. So th- this is a um, unprecedented jury because... Every other one before this has been like all gone the king's way. Mm -hmm. But because of the one dissenter, there's now the swing vote. And the daughter is now the swing vote to decide whether or not the king gets away with it or he's brought to justice and they're able to bring their family back. Right. Mm -hmm. But lo and behold, a new witness is called forth. Surprise witness. Last minute. So they sneak them in the window and they talk to the jury real quick. Yes. And it is the 10 year old (gasps) sister. And which one were they in the courtroom? She was in the jury. She's in the yeah, jury. None she of the ones we One were. of the 10 year olds. <laughs> she left the building, went back through the window, yeah. and said, Surprise. Well, yeah, because she was only allowed to be a jury originally, so she had to go out. Yes. She's like, Got to get permission real quick from the cops. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I can be a witness now. I'm going to sneak back in. I'm going to sneak fast. back in here. Mm-hmm. Right. And she reveals. All. Oh, she tells it's her a story. Tell Every, all. Yeah, Taught. everything that happened <laughs> since that covenant phone call when she was seven months old. Well, we also learned today. what the covenant is. Well, the, the covenant, covenant was to make a blood oath. Was the blood oath and what the blood oath was for. <laughs> what it would be for, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think this is between two sisters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the baby and the sister. Uh-huh. Yes. And one thing I like about the song is you get to see that exchange, and then there's kind of also how it all wraps up. You know, yeah. how the whole story goes down. It's like yeah. the big final number. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind. It's, it's kind. Gentle. It's um, more. <laughs> in this song, 
What's your verdict? Hey, sister? Yes, child. I haven't seen you in ten years. <laughs> I'm ready to fulfill my covenant and to make that blood oath if you're still willing. Okay. The blood oath that we'd see if we're actually sisters? Yeah. We promised we'd covenant to make a blood oath to see if we were actually sisters. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought DNA tests were called. Blood oaths. And I'm old enough to realize that all the oath is, is whether or not you're willing to be my sister. Because it doesn't matter if you're biological. If you make a blood oath with me right now, you are my sister, then you are. I am? That's what family is. It's not genes or blood. Family is sticking through with it, through rain, tears, and mud. If you promise to be my sister, I'll covenant to be the same And we'll blood off together to be our family every day So what's your verdict? Are we family or not? What's your verdict? Is this what you want? Wanted to see if you're related to the king But now I realize you'll always be royalty to me Doesn't matter if you've got a different parent We still got blood, we can pretend to share it We can still go on sister sleep my verdict hopefully I can teach you how to say your R's that's, that's my verdict. verdict oh I'm so excited for you teach me how to drive how to properly weigh out cut Louis who cares if mom went up behind dad's back and committed adultery <laughs> The king sure gets around But that doesn't have to be found out We can keep his secrets As long as our family tree We leave it like it was found So that's your verdict Sick, yes, that's, that's your verdict. verdict Oh, this is better than I ever could have hoped for now we just have to decide the king's punishment What would be fair? Should we walk him up for a million years And make him work at a county fair? Well we thought he kidnapped you by force But I think it's just a bad divorce We basically got parent trapped One parent got you His nasty knucks <laughs> with, with the ruler I'm glad you said knucks I thought you said something that sounded like <laughs> that That's my verdict That's my verdict With a jury of our peers 
if we solved all our fears Well, just as we is blind And so is love I love you, sis Now for the blood pot Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The mom the whole time was just slinking out of the room, <laughs> realizing her <laughs> crime. <laughs> the reason she didn't put up such a fuss is because it was an adultery, baby. Or was it? They never found out. Because... Family is about what you choose. Not what Family you're is about with. what you choose. Right. I don't choose. think it had to be. It could just be... be uh, it could just be that the king gave... Uh, like we never said there was a dad in the picture. Yeah. So the king laid seed. We did brought forth two babies and then he took one and Well, we did suggest adultery. We did, but we also suggested parent trap. That's true. Right. One of those things is true and one of those is not. <laughs> That's for you to decide, dear listener. <laughs> and what else is for you to decide is whether or not you're gonna come back each week and hang out with us. Because you're not our blood, I'm sorry, unless you're my mom, cousins, uncles, aunt, or grandma. One living grandpa. You're not my blood. Or my kids. Um, or if you had the blood I donated, I'm O negative, I'm a universal donor. Then we kind of our blood a little bit. But unless you're not, you're not blood. But we choose for you to be our family. And isn't that stronger? Because you can't pick your friends. And you can pick your nose. <laughs> you can pick your friends. But you can pick... And you can <laughs> pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> And you can pick to be here with us every single Monday here at 